The news presenter Samantha Simmons and filmmaker Martha Fiennes were among the winners of the Women of the Excellence Awards in Westminster this week. Thirteen women were honoured in total at an event organised by the Universal Peace Federation and the All Ladies League, the international forum which works to bring people together and celebrate achievement. Samantha and Martha are here this lunch uh, this evening, I should say, with the UK chair of the league, Gulka Khan. Thank you very much to all of you for coming in. Um, Samantha and Martha, congratulations. Thank you. This Thank was an award you won earlier in the week. Um, you both, of course, work in worlds that are difficult to crack. Samantha, what's the secret to cracking it? Gosh, the secret. I think perseverance. I think having a goal and actually setting out that goal and having some kind of plan. Things don't always go to plan. And I talk a lot to young people about sort of careers and how to get ahead in the media. I think I was lucky because I sort of chose my path at a young age, around 1920, and I was passionate about it from the beginning and I think I realised that that goal would take some serious, serious commitment and also a lot of sacrifices. I've done a lot of night shifts in my life. I've dropped things at the last minute to go on the news and to report the stories. But for me, it's, it's a deep passion and I think whatever you choose to do in life, be passionate about it and be committed and hopefully that will open a lot of doors for you. And talking of which, Martha, one of the other women celebrated must come as a great honour for you. Similarly, in a world that is very difficult to crack, mm -hmm. How have you managed it? Well, I mean, very much like uh, Samantha says, it is, it is very hard. And there are these, I would almost call them subtle barriers to entry because they're not necessarily that clear. I would say again that it's about passion and belief. And that belief almost has to become unshakable. Like anything, if you start to doubt it, things crumble underneath you. So I think having that purity of intention is really, really key. And go two of the 13 who've been celebrated this week. Just give us an overview of why these awards take place and what they're celebrating. Well, basically, I created the awards with um, Margaret Alley of UPF, and what we what we decided to do was to award, um, actually it was 14 women, um, who had just achieved a lot of excellence, but also had done unusual things and were very pioneering in, in their work. Um, and of course, you know, Samantha's career has been exceptional, um, you know, for, for, for the last 26 to 30 years and Martha has, has done something extraordinary and created something um, which is sort of digital um, moving image, which many people say film, but it's not, and, and I'm sure she'd like to talk more about that. But th the overview is generally that um, it's a time where, you know, women are being celebrated a little bit more and women, um, especially in London, just need to be more recognised so that they can be icons for other, other younger uh, you know, women who want to get out there and follow example. I read that yeah. this award is particularly to celebrate women who've achieved success through their own efforts and not because it was handed to them. Is this an attempt to tackle that um, old boys club perhaps that yeah. many women find difficult when they get into the workplace? Absolutely, because um, the, some of the awardees there, you know, they had built their lives uh, because they'd suffered from domestic abuse and many other things or they were political refugees and they had lots of issues but they managed to become self-made so it was quite an eclectic mix of um, you know a women a lot of diversity from backgrounds and sort of ethnic ethnic origin uh, so yeah we want to kind of crack that and, and celebrate everyone really and Martha in the past mm. you've spoken about hating being described as a female director <laughs> have you found as your success has grown that the struggles the challenges you face have changed with it not really I mean do you f would you find it strange to be female presenters I mean it just is such an odd thing. I think the challenges continue. I think it's getting better for sure, but it's slow. And I think one of, just what Gull said, women coming together is a very important thing and communicating about it freely, openly, not being afraid to discuss it. I mean, there's moves from BAFTA now very specifically to involve minorities in behind the camera, um, which are not represented. And it's, I understand it's the same with the Academy in America. It's like these numbers are not adding up for the filmmaking coming from women enough. But I, I believe it will change. And Samantha, you've interviewed world leaders uh, in the world of politics. You've interviewed famous faces all over the place. Have you found that there's a shared trait when it comes to successful women? You know, I think it's just really boils down to what I said a little bit earlier, which is about being committed and having passion and actually being single-minded about it. I actually wrote a piece just this week about women suffering from imposter syndrome. Um, every woman I've ever met, every successful woman I've ever met, 
suffers from this sort of fear of not being good enough, of feeling that they're in a position that they don't really have a right to be in that position. Well, you know what you are. You work hard. You've actually, if you've got to any any level of achievement, then you've actually, you've earned it. And I think women need to believe in themselves more and actually think that they believe that they have a right to, you know, to wherever they've got to. And that should hopefully, you know, make a difference. If we believe in ourselves, others will believe in us as well automatically, hopefully. Wise words indeed. I have Absolutely. to ask, you don't both suffer from imposter syndromes, surely at the levels that you've both I definitely to. have done in my career, 100%. I've been sat where you are and reading the news, mm. interviewing high-profile high mm. people, uh, reporting on world events and thought, at the beginning of my career, certainly not anymore, but at the beginning. And I've thought, mm. who am I to be asking these questions? What do I know? Do I know enough? Fe that fear of being mm. found out almost, when yeah. actually you do know. I've done my homework. Work. I, you know, I've had a long career and I've put in the groundwork, but I think it's just that that um, that just slight little bit of insecurity that you fear you're going to be found out. And actually, you, you know, if you're in that position, you're there because you've earned it. And Martha yeah. nodding your head along there as well, you are. Cold. I think we've all felt it to a good degree. I mean, I think it's just a question of, you know, expanding. The more that we expand, we start questioning our own sort of self worth generally. And there, there's so many things that are sort of stuck away in our subconscious teachers telling us, you're no good, you won't do it, you won't make it. And we grow up sort of unraveling all of that. So, yes, you know, Samantha definitely covered a topic that I think I will say know a lot of people have experienced and I have definitely myself.